All right, it's my crankshaft. It's a forged crank. How do I know it's a forged crank? Uh, a lot of people will tell you two methods. Well, two ways of finding out. One, a cast crank will have a very thin parting line on the counterweight part of it. And a forge will have a wide parting line with a jagged edge. As you can see, that's a wide parting line. So this thing was hammered into shape, not cast, not poured. And another reason they tell you to do is they call it the pitch. Where a cast crank, you hit it with another metal object, not strike it with extreme force, but you hit it with a metal object, it'll give you a more of a thud, muffled sound. Where a forged crank, when you hit it, kind of sings. Is that a cast crank or a forged one? It looks like a cast with a thin line. All right, so as you can see, forge crank has a very wide parting line here. It sings when you hit it. And the cast crank has a very pronounced thin parting line here. You see it? That's where the mold was broken apart. And you hear it? It's got a duller sound to it. Got a higher pitch ring. Just food for thought, I like to throw that out there. So if you want to know if you have a, a forged crank or a cast crank, those are the two ways to find out. Um, but the, the tapping of it is not really scientific method, but um, if you do your research, that definitely is a, is, a, is a poured crankshaft, and that's the seam. See how thin it is? It's a really tight to find line. Whereas this guy is very wide. So, that one was poured into shape, this one was hammered into shape. Stronger, stronger crank, and that's what's going in Bubba's power plant. It's sitting right there, y'all. Getting ready. Just gotta get the cam bearings. I forgot cam bearings. I didn't forget them, just don't got the damn tool to put them in. Alright guys, 